I'm Joanne Thomas, I'm the Executive Creative Director of Design at the Jupiter Drawing Room and my job for the last 11 years has been to oversee the campaign for Design in Darba. Based on the request for a campaign of um, activism, what we decided this year was to do a campaign, we've labelled it the Make Change campaign. And the, the idea really was to try and make sure that it wasn't the usual change agents that were um, implementing change around us. The campaign really aimed to convince everybody that everyone has a little bit of creativity within, within them that, and if they use that creativity they can basically change their world for the better. I'm particularly happy to get involved with the Haven Shelter again. Back in the day, in, in the 1990s, we actually corralled together some money to help build a new shelter called The Bridge uh, in Woodstock. So it's just wonderful that it's been now something like 20 odd years that we've constantly gone back to the Haven and looked for ways that we could add value to it. We need to provide access for homeless people to come off the street and that requires buildings and then the immediate needs to be attended to, which requires uh, cooking facilities, showers and so forth and then eventually ends up in a bed. When someone first enters the Haven, he or she needs to go through a few processes first. One of which is to assess their immediate needs. Now we're not healthcare professionals, so what we do is real basic screening. Is the person breathing properly? Is the person bleeding? Because we would then insist that the person obtains help at the local clinic. I had to come to Cape Town because my uncle was sick here. I had an uncle, so I had to come and stay with him as well. Then I uh, started working the side in hospitality and over time I started studying as well. Uh, while I was helping my family in Zimbabwe, I started uh, going to school as well. Um, I was studying information and technology. Yeah, then, well, yeah, things just got a bit too, like, overwhelming for me. Like, I, was, I had a lot to do, like, um, support my family, school fees, rent, and yeah. So I started using drugs, yeah, that's the reason, yeah, I got homeless and got to the shelter, yeah. Well, the support that we are giving the, the Haven really is what we've done is we've identified that the people who um, obviously approach the Haven to stay there and uh, receive the food and the shelter are often people that have had slight misfortune in their lives and that they just need a second chance. So what we've done is we basically have, we're redesigning their, their website for them to include a section which basically outlines their CVs. It kind of says, you know, what are my, what are my skills? What, a little bit about their, each of their background, what they were doing before life hit them hard and they ended up on the streets. Well, advertising the skills that homeless persons have allows would-be employers or potential employers to match their need with the offering that homeless people have. And it helps a homeless person, of course, through work to feel better about himself, prove himself and get on with his life. 